Hello, my magicians, and welcome back to Soul Horoscopes Weekly Edition. I'm your host to the universe, Christopher Wataki. I'm also the proud host of SoulGarden.me, where we have a new primetime office hours called Office Hours SG After Dark, starring Jenny Watson and I, Marcella, two of our favorites down in the garden. In fact, Jenny is our iVillage chief, if you don't know. But this is on Monday evening, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Come on down. Come talk about love. Come talk about anything. It's just after dark topics only. Now, we are moving on to the next state of awareness. The sun has moved into Leo. And I thought I'd do a little review for people, because a lot of people ask questions. I read all the comments, by the way, every time of how this all works. You know, astrology teaches us a simple lesson that there are three stories going on at any one time. That's why astrology is so accurate. <laughs> Most people only deal with one story, but as the sun moves into Leo, there's the global story of the Earth now in Leo, or actually the Earth is in Aquarius and the sun is in Leo. So you have an Earth-held story. This month we'll all be working on our connection to love in Source Energy. How well do we allow love in our life uh, to play in our life? And if you're a Pisces, that means you're working on your health and the moment. Because Pisces, the Pisces tribe, channels love into the moment and lives in a state of love if they're healthy. That's why I call you God's service providers because you literally have your head in heaven and your feet on the earth. Your job is to channel love into the earth and pump it in. All right. Then there's the third story, which is your rising sign story or the story of the individual or the story that Guardian Agency will watch for you that we can't watch without special technology. Now, that said, we're moving into the green state of awareness. That is the heart chakra, the I love state of awareness. This is part of the green energy uh, that makes life green. In fact, it's not an accident that every leaf is green. That is God loving in action right there. For the Pisces, this means the two stories of how you connect to love energy and then how you connect that love energy daily in the moment. So how does that turn into health? How does it turn into lifestyle? How does that turn into the way you work? Can you channel love into your moment or not? Are you held off? Well, those questions are the questions of Monday as the sun is one degree in Leo and that's the question. Do you have love in your life? Do you have love in the moment? You could be clogged in life. You could be clogged in the moment. We're going to find out in the next 30 days. With the moon in Libra, you are particularly sensitive. That's because trust and intimacy issues are kind of a highlight and you are sensitive to where you draw your lines. Now, this sensitivity is not new. This trine, which is from Uranus in Aries up to, or this opposition is what it's called, the opposition from Uranus in Aries up to uh, the moon conjuncting Mars today literally is a balancing act today. As you're trying to struggle to feel if there's love, you're also struggling to innovate your self-esteem on one hand and get comfortable with new boundaries. As the moon crosses Mars, there might be a big passion explosion where aggression suddenly kind of overwhelms you. And this is the universe really kicking you in the butt, Pisces, to get moving on the Saturn issue, which is to take responsibility for your trust, your intimacy, and every boundary on the planet, to not be so sloppy with the boundaries, to be more clear because sloppy boundaries leads to, or imbalance boundaries lead to, no value, Uranus in Aries. So Monday is a day really of figuring things out. On Tuesday, we are emotional. It's a passionate day. It's cloudy, chance of storms. That's because the moon is getting more intense in the house of intimacy and will cross over Saturn during the course of the day. So the universe gets pretty serious when it comes to where your boundaries and trust issues are. Zooming in, this is a big little party going on. Of course, we have Mars heading for Saturn. I talk about that in the Act 3 videos. When Mars hits Saturn, that is really when things happen, by the way. So we're on countdown. Today, the moon crossing Saturn means you're going to have to grow up emotionally about a particular boundary if you want on the other side, right? Uh, in this particular case, we have a trine with Venus in Gemini. So an open mind leads to open boundaries. Opportunities for communication leads to op uh, shifted responsible boundaries, right? And then the Uranus from yesterday, if you want your value to increase, you've got to take responsibility for, for boundaries. What does that mean? Well, for instance, I know a lot of Pisces who end up in romantic affairs with their boss. Not smart boundaries to increase your value. Okay, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So Tuesday, you're really feeling this and there's a good chance of storms if you haven't done your soul work. On Wednesday, the sun comes back out to play. Jupiter rules the day, so we're all optimistic. The goal of the day is to explore. Remember this month's two states of awareness are, is there love in your life? And secondly, what's your daily lifestyle like anyways? So you are looking to be able to live in a daily moment to moment reality that allows love to pour in. You also need the skill set of allowing love to pour in, which means you love yourself at the core. That was last
last month's lesson, and it means you channel it into your moment. So on the Jupiter Rule Day, which is Wednesday, you are looking for how your life might improve to where love can be present in it day in and day out. And you're also looking to see what's going wrong with love anyways in your life. Where are you not loving yourself? Where are you not receiving love that you want love overall? That's Wednesday. We also have a double Yod on Wednesday. Now one Yod we already know, it's the old holy Pluto at the top. We talked about that yesterday. That is a continual reminder to considerly con cons to continually reconsider how you see yourself contextually in the world. So you're gonna really be surfing as far as what your job title is. But this other Yod, which is circling the sun here in Mercury conjunct uh, Leo, God Universe is saying, hey, if you want things in your whole life to change, you've really gotta change how you live in the moment. All right, and Mercury retrograde is rethink or look at it from a new way. That's what the retrograde Mercury is saying. Look at it from a new way, a way you haven't seen it before, right? Your moment also has certain contexts, right? I'm always the, the blue collar worker. You know, that's a way of living in the moment, maybe feeling impressed. You can live in the moment feeling light and free. How we live in the moment is so important. What ties into living in the moment? Well, how you see yourself in society and also your ego, says Neptune and Pisces. So Wednesday is a day of seeing maybe how you can live in the moment differently. On Thursday, breakdown. Unfortunately, we've got our first storms of the season. Uranus rules a day, so whatever was not built on solid foundation in your daily lifestyle that you weren't paying attention to breaks down. So if your car is needing an oil change, it might break down. That's what gets you to work. If something at work is not mopped up, you might slip. That's a breakdown. If you haven't really had good health, you could slip and hurt something. That's breakdown. I don't want any of this to happen to you. I'm just giving you examples where when you don't pay attention to your daily life and your health in the moment, things break down. That's part of it. As a result, your source to love breaks down because when a Pisces isn't happy in the moment, they can't channel love into their life, period, no matter how well they're loved. So this is a combo double whammy on Thursday. The takeaway, of course, is what was in the way. Those in the GA agency, I'll be detecting your personal stories of what might have been in the way in your personal life as well on that day. Then comes Friday. Now, Friday ain't a party day, but it ain't a painful day either. That's because Mercury is ruling the day. Mercury is retrograde. So really think that this is probably the aha day okay, a big aha day, a private aha, aha day. It's partly cloudy, the moon has shifted into Scorpio. So you're actually self-reflective, your, your emotions are looking for true meaning, for true purpose in all of this, why am I going through this, maybe that sort of thing. That's where emotions are, but open to new solutions. There's also a trine that's worth pointing out between Uranus and Aries down to the sun in Leo conjuncting Mercury retrograde. So what this is saying is this, in order for your lifestyle to improve to some degree, Uranus and Aries says, you've got to innovate the way you see yourself in sort of in the way of value you know you can't see yourself as valuable for instance maybe you always see yourself as the caregiver and the hospice giver the person who show up and help someone but you're not paid okay that is a great way of seeing your value and it's not that you're not valuable that way it's just there's other ways to see your value that actually brings cash right and helping people in your spare time so you're innovating the way you feel valuable and then what does that lead to a different momentary lifestyle so the universe is suggesting that part of the reason why lifestyle may suck is because you are failing to value yourself correctly and that's part of the breakthrough on Friday on Saturday Venus rolls the day so it's now sunny again so it's kind of like woo, 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 very bipolar week if you watch it up and down Sunday ah the universe brings back balance and order this will be a day of restoring balance and order to your lifestyle this will be looking to see what it makes, what it takes to restore balance to your health, what it takes to restore balance to your attitude in the moment, what it takes to restore balance in your lifestyle. Is it all work, no play, all play, no work? Those all count and kind of bubble up on Saturday. The moon moves into Sagittarius, so although it's the weekend, your emotions are having a bit of a career, decision, legacy, serious kind of tone, and we are blessed with a temporary soul pyramid in fire. Now what that does is unite your feelings around career, trying down to Sun Mercury, so you're trying to figure out what would bring a perfect work style, what would be great for work style. Then over to Uranus and Aries, that brings me lots of money, and then the Moon and Sagittarius that I enjoy as a career legacy destination. So really here it is, career, money, and lifestyle coming together on Saturday. Hopefully on Saturday you are starting to put the pieces together as far as 
What needs to change in your lifestyle to let, allow love to come in on a more permanent basis? All thanks to the moon. Then Sunday, it's a Pisces day, God's service day. What am I saying? Neptune rules the day is what I'm saying. So we are logging into our higher self. It is partly cloudy and spiritual. The soul pyramid has broken, but emotions are still focused on career and legacy. So Sunday, you are cloudy and dreamy about where you feel your legacy may be going or your career may be going. At the same time, we have a temporary opposition between the moon up in house of career and Venus down in Gemini. What this is, is you looking for a balance between where your emotions want to go with career legacy, etc., and then how you want to open up to better self-nurturing at home and family. So you may find that your career ambitions are stalted because your self-nurturing sucks, which would be why your lifestyle ain't happy. So really Sunday, another day of putting it all together, but on Sunday, the focus of putting it together is the home family versus career opposition, uh, adding its two cents, so to speak. All right, my Pisces, that's all I have for you today. Maybe we'll see you after dark on Monday. Maybe I'll see you unite the light on Friday. But either way, I'll see you right in seven days. Until then, live, love, be.